Wild Wonderful Off Grid is a well-loved YouTube channel created and run by a couple by the names Aaron and Josh Myers. The first video on the channel was posted in May 2018, which was about their decision of selling everything and moving off the grid. Ever since then, they have been documenting their journey of building their off-grid home. But of course, we only see what the couple wants us to see. We can only learn so much about the family's lives behind the scenes. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, BB Star. In today's video, we are going to be revealing 9 facts you didn't know about Wild Wonderful Off-Grid. If you also want to learn more about their off-screen lives, then stick to the end of the video. Also, don't forget to check out the link in the description below to get a free audiobook online in seconds. You will get my number one recommendation on how to get a free audiobook. Not just any kind, but only the best, top-notch audiobooks. Now without further ado, let's start the video. Number 9. Aaron and Josh said goodbye to the comforts of modern life to live off the grid. Who wouldn't want to get away from the fast pace of the city, where office walls is all you see and business talk is all you hear? Well, everyone does. However, not everyone is capable of taking that first step. Except Aaron and Josh. The couple had lived their entire lives in the city. However, following the birth of their youngest daughter, they decided that they needed a break from city living. So, without hesitation, Aaron and Josh, together with their three young children, sold their home, packed their belongings, and drove to the vast West Virginia, where a spacious, 73-acre property was waiting for them. Number 8. The Reason Behind Building an A-Frame Home A family of five with three growing children living in an A-Frame home. Well, that is sure to attract a lot of attention. Because, let's admit it, A-frame homes can be eye-catching, but they have a lot of disadvantages, particularly for large families. First off, A-frames have so many vertical walls that there isn't much room for closets, so you'll have to really get creative with how you add storage space to your A-frame. You also have a limited number of bedrooms, meaning that large families may not be so comfortable in an A-frame house. However, none of this matters to the wild, wonderful off-grid family because they want this home to be the main family home, meaning they want something that will last them a long, long time. And because an A-frame can stand up to harsh climates such as wind, rain, and snow, it won't pose mobility issues for any of the family members later on in life. It is also a more cost-effective option, which was perfect for the couple who were starting from scratch, literally. This brings us to the next point. Number 7. The couple did not hire contractors. According to a report from the National Association of Home Builders, it takes an average of 22 subcontractors to build a home from scratch, but apparently not for Aaron and Josh. Instead of hiring the contractors, the couple pulled their skills together and started building the house with just two pairs of hands. They started construction in May of 2018 with only their kids a 73-acre plot in West Virginia, and each other. They certainly had a big work ahead of them. However, by January of 2019, the couple had almost finished laying the groundwork for their home. They had also started installing electrical panels, insulation, and solar panels while getting their farm started at the same time. And well, as you already know, it's easier said than done. The family also had to face several difficulties, including the harsh West Virginia winters. This meant added work to protect their farm and themselves from the cold as they worked on the construction. But even so, they did not give up, and around mid-2020, they moved into a house they could definitely be proud of. A house surrounded by a 60-acre mixed woodland and an unadulterated view that people in the city would pay for to see. But wait, what about the three children you've got to educate? Number 6. The children are homeschooled and taught by Aaron. When living off the grid, one of the most important considerations is how to educate your children. Of course, you can send your children to nearby local public or private schools. However, when you live in remote locations, traveling to the nearest school every day isn't a practical option. Fortunately for Aaron and Josh, their children's education wasn't a major issue. Why? because Erin herself was a middle school teacher. Yes, you heard that right. 
before leaving everything behind to live off the grid. Aaron was working as a middle school teacher. That is why homeschooling for their kids was a natural decision to make for the couple. Number 5. Aaron is a stay-at-home mom. It is hard to care for a baby when building a house, but it is even harder when you're a mother of three young children. From all the power tools lying around to the unprotected nails that can snag a crawler's clothes to falls from high places, there are dangers lurking all over the place. Now, combine that with feeding, clothing, caring for your children, homesteading, and homeschooling. Yes, that is a great deal of work to be done. Any average person would surely give up due to exhaustion, but Erin has managed to raise her children while simultaneously keeping up with the chores. She is the epitome of a strong woman. Number 4. Low-Tech Parenting Times are changing in cell phones and become almost a necessity for everyone. But that isn't the case with Erin. In fact, she has already stated multiple times in her videos that she does not enjoy using her phone. Erin's dislike for cell phones can also be sensed in her three children. Instead of iPhones and laptops, the kids can be seen with sticks and rocks. For off-grid families like Erin's, a clear benefit of being so out there is that there's no media influence. The kids only have nature to occupy themselves. And as they get more mud under their fingernails, they gain more wisdom about how the world works and challenge themselves in new and wholesome ways. Number 3. Josh worked as an electrician full-time until 2020. The couple left everything behind to live off the grid, yet Josh worked full-time as an electrician until 2020, driving two hours to and from work in the city. But this raises the question, why? Why work in the city if you wanted to be self-sufficient? Well, the answer is simple, so that the couple could pave the construction with cash and remain debt-free. Yes, the couple wanted to be self-sufficient, but they also wanted to build a debt-free home. So, with no more bills to pay, Josh quit his job in 2020 and started managing the house and focusing more on the construction of the home and property. Number 2. Josh is good at maths. When you look at Josh, you'll know that he is good at physical labor. From building a small shed to setting up a small farm and even installing a power system, Josh can do literally everything. And apparently he's also exceptionally good at maths. That is because as an electrician, all of his professional decisions are dictated by knowledge of building codes, electricity-related physics, and mathematics. Josh's skills in mathematics had helped the couple not only in the construction of their dream A-frame home, but also in the education of their children. Number 1. The couple makes ends meet from YouTube's earnings. The channel, Wild Wonderful Off Grid, has over 988,000 subscribers as of 2022 and has accumulated over 208 million views so far. It is able to get an average of 150,000 views per day from different sources. This should generate an estimated revenue of $1,200 per day, $360,000 a month, and $432,000 a year. Apart from this, the couple makes extra income from their second channel, Wild Wonderful After The Show, where they share family life and family blog videos. Their three children are primary characters in these videos, and how they adapted to living off-grid has been perfectly documented in detail in the channel. Well, living away from civilization isn't for everyone. However, the wild, wonderful off-grid family has embraced the off-grid lifestyle so beautifully that it makes the viewers want to pack their bags and head the woods right this instant. With that being said, we have come to the end of the video. What are your thoughts on the wild, wonderful off-grid? Do you think Aaron and Josh's children will continue to live off the grid when they reach adulthood? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and share with your friends. We will be back with another celebrity video soon.